What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Erica if you are new here and I love reviewing activewear and giving you guys all of my honest and unsponsored thoughts and today is very exciting because I am finally reviewing the brand new Cloud 2 fabric from Vitality. I've been wanting to do this for about a month um, but I'm finally settled and have time to record and I've tried the pieces and, and I really want to compare the new cloud fabric to the old and tell you guys about how it's different and all of that good stuff so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts make sure to settle in subscribe and let's get into the video day before we get into this video i know i haven't uploaded a youtube video in probably a month 2023 got off to a very quick fast paced start for me. I had a lot of trips planned and I just didn't have time to film but also I have really taken a step back from just buying and buying and buying so many pieces of activewear. First of all my closet is like overflowing. Second, I really am just at this point where I can't stand the thought of like buying something else when I have so much already and it's really easy to get stuck in this whole influencer cycle and world and launch world of all of these different activewear brands and like wanting to support all of the launches and it's just like not sustainable and I've just had this like I don't know I this year I just really want to focus on saving more money and only buying activewear when I can either really justify it if I really love the pieces or if I can find it secondhand I've really been outside of like this review that I'm doing for Cloud 2. I haven't bought activewear this year. Um, these are the only pieces I've bought like new and that's just because I tried one of the colors and I really liked how the color, like how vibrant it was and I really do like the feel of this new fabric which we'll get into in a second but um, other than that I haven't bought activewear and it's been really really nice honestly to not have to keep up with everything. I feel like there's launches like every week and it's just like very overwhelming and I kind of want to break the habit and stigma of feeling the need to buy everything. So I do apologize for my lack of videos. I'm trying to brainstorm ways that I can still upload and share reviews with you guys without having to buy so much. Um, and I do have some ideas for that, which I will be posting soon. So let's talk about the brand new Vitality Cloud 2 fabric. You guys know I genuinely like how Vitality fits me and always has fit me. All of the different patterns that they come up with and the different colorways. Now some things have lasted me better than others but in general I really like the cloud shorts. Those are like my all-time favorite pieces from Vitality. I pretty much only wear biker shorts or workout shorts from Vitality like their spandex ones because they just fit me the best. Like. I love Buff Bunny, but they don't have 6 inch and I don't like their 8 inch shorts or the 4 inch. Um, I've decided that I'm not buying any more Legacy shorts unless they ever came out with like a 6 inch length. But then I've also found like an exact dupe on Amazon for Buff Bunny shorts so I'm not like, I don't know, I never like go and just buy a ton of Buff Bunny shorts. So with shorts, I really really like Vitality shorts. Like those are my go-to, pretty much all of the shorts in my wardrobe are Vitality. So when they were updating the cloud fabric, I knew I had to try it and review it for you guys because I've done so many Vitality reviews and I just had to, I had to tell you, I had to do it for you, I had to do it. So. Without further ado, let's talk about the Vitality Cloud 2 Volley Shorts first. I ordered this teal, I think it's called Seafoam set for my birthday, because this actually launched on my birthday. And right out of the bag, I can definitely tell a difference. Now they've been hyping up this new cloud fabric feel prior to launch. Um, it's a new recycled fabric, which is really nice. But I will say after pulling them out of the bag, they do feel different to me. They feel thinner and definitely softer. And they do have on the inside now, it's printed with the care instructions and fabric description. I don't know if you can see that because I can't really see in my screen, but it does have it on the inside. And then you have the triangle on the back. And I also noticed 
that the glue contour is more curved than it used to be. So they have changed the glue contour quite a bit over the past couple of years. I'm gonna lay down a couple old pairs of shorts so you guys can see the difference, but I definitely noticed the V comes deeper and it's almost a little bit more curved than just that normal V that they have had in the past. So very simple, very, very light, I will say, out of all of the years that they've been comparing their leggings to Lulu, this is the first time that these do feel similar to Align's, where they're just so thin. Now, I'm going to try them on for you, but the colors this time around um, are super, super saturated. So, like, in the past, a lot of their colors had were slightly muted. This is the first time that I feel like their colors are actually really, really vibrant. Um, and I just really loved that, that they were just really rich and vibrant. So I believe the volley short is like a five and a half inch inseam. So it's a slightly shorter than a six inch inseam. I don't mind that. Um, I just can't do anything less than five because five is getting to the short, <laughs> getting to the short side. I did get all of the pieces in this video in a size medium, which is my true size. Now let's talk about how this fits on the body. This is going to be a low compression feel because it's so stretchy. So my one complaint is the compression aspect. So I would almost size down if you like compression, but otherwise I would stick true to size. I think the medium, like I wouldn't personally go for a small just because I wouldn't want them to be any shorter for the lowest amount of compression that I think Vitality has ever come out with. Their old cloud had a little bit more compression to it. I really just love the lengths of these shorts and the colors and just how they flatter the glutes. So I do think them adding this curve and adjusting this a little bit has made it more flattering. Um, and there's a slight waist taper on these shorts as well. So again, that's gonna give you a little bit more shape. In the past, they've really, like I mentioned before, they've been playing around with the shape of the glute contour. And in some of their leggings, it's just not high enough waisted or it comes down too low and it kind of cuts off half of your glutes. I think they finally got it with this. So overall, if you like a loungy, low compression type legging or short. I think the Cloud 2 is really nice. But yeah, overall, I really like the improvements that they made. I am curious with how soft the fabric is, how they will last over time with pilling. That is one of the biggest frustrations for me with any brand's super soft brushed feeling legging is that they do generally pill over time. So we will see, but Overall, I really love these colors, any colors like this in my wardrobe currently. So as I mentioned, I am trying to be more mindful and only get things that I don't have in my wardrobe. So overall, love the shorts. They fit great. I can't wait to wear them through workouts. So let's talk about this outfit. I wore this whole pink fit for a run and it held up really well. The shorts didn't roll or anything crazy. They did move up a little bit as I was sprinting, but that's pretty normal with shorts. They are very thin and not super cellulite friendly in the lighter colors, so that's just something to keep in mind if that bothers you. But overall, I'm really impressed with how this set wicked away sweat. I was expecting it to show a lot more. I was really sweaty after this workout. Um, with the top, the straps did twist a little bit as you can see on my right shoulder there and then there is sweat obviously showing on my legs and in some areas of the shorts but honestly held up better than anticipated so as you can see with the lighter colors you are not going to get any concealing of cellulite or bumps or lumps or imperfections so if you are self-conscious about that i would steer clear of the lighter colors and go with black and then for the top i really love the tank top it held up great there's a shelf bra in the inside and this doubles as a tank and scoop bra so I would recommend this tank over the scoop bra just because you get more bang for your buck and you can wear it both ways if you do have larger than a C I wouldn't recommend it just because it is very low support and you can see that I'm spilling out of the top a little bit so I wouldn't recommend this for high impact or for women with larger chests let's talk about the bras i bought the pink set on resale and this is a new product so i really wanted to review it and let's 
talk about these for a second. I'm gonna start with the Cloud Scoop Bra. Now, I have quite a bit of Cloud Bras or this, this Scoop Bra, Ignite Bra, it's all kind of the same thing. Back in like 20, I wanna say 2020, Balance, previous name for Vitality came out with the Ignite bra and it was pretty much this. There was some more seam detailing on the front, but they've had this style bra for quite some time and I've always really just enjoyed the simplicity of the bra. So this is just a very basic scoop tank bra situation and it's honestly just super comfy. I will say I have a size C bra and if you have bigger than a C, this bra is just not going to be for you. I do prefer their D plus option, which has a little bit more coverage and length, but they didn't come out with that this time, I think because they were coming out with the tank. But overall, I just really like how simple this bra is and I just love a matching set moment. So if you do have a bigger chest, this is going to be a super, 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 super low impact bra. I do find that my chest pops out a little bit at the top when I do wear it. If I ever wore this for like hit or something, my boobs would be spilling out. So generally I'll wear this for cycling because it's a little bit more low impact and or walking, um, yoga, Pilates, that kind of thing. So I definitely don't think these sets are ideal for high intensity workouts, maybe just like a general lift, like a low impact Pilates yoga day. These would be perfect, but there are thick straps that are adjustable, comes with cup pads, the band it is like a thick elastic band and it's pretty much just a little basic top. I will say the seafoam color will definitely match the marine tie-dye from their Oasis collection. If you do have those tie-dye shorts, I'm always looking for things that can match other items in my closet. But um, yeah, I just, I love, I think you can't go wrong with just like a solid colored sports bra. So I really like this, but it's definitely not for bigger chests and definitely low, low impact. The Cloud Tank. Now, I wasn't sure about the tank because I was kind of just like, I don't know, it's a basic tank, like, I don't know. But let me tell you, this was my sleeper favorite item because it is definitely something you can wear for working out and or lifestyle. So this on its own could be super cute with jeans and I'll also show you in the try on, but this can be a two in one product. So if you were ever shopping and they do a similar launch with similar pieces, I would get the tank over, over the bra that I just showed you because with the tank, there is a built-in shelf bra. So of course you don't have to wear a bra with it. This also has pads. I usually take that out but you can tuck the fabric underneath and make it look exactly like the bra I just showed you. So if you were choosing between the two, I would get the tank because it's more versatile than the sports bra. Like I would never wear that sports bra out as a lifestyle piece, but I would definitely wear this. My one complaint with this, and you'll see in the try on as well, is that the tank is pretty long. Um, I do have a short torso, but the tank is long and it, the waistband is so high for the shorts and the leggings for Vitality that it almost looks like a onesie, um, which maybe you're into that look or maybe you want full coverage like that. But since you can tuck this extra fabric underneath the bra, I do think that you get more wear out of the tank than the bra. So if you were deciding between what style to choose, between the tank and the bra, I would definitely go with the tank. Super versatile, the color is gorgeous. I have literally no pink tops in my wardrobe for like lifestyle, but you could wear these with jean shorts or like black black biker shorts for a pop of color. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can style the tank. So I'm obsessed with the tank. This is probably my favorite piece of everything. There is no real compression with the top because it's just a shelf bra and then the fabric lays over the shelf bra. So it's not really like sucking you in at all. I got this in a size medium. I think it's true to size and it's just really cute, fun color for springs. But let's talk a little bit about how the 
the Cloud 2 holds up compared to some of their older Cloud collections. This is a pair of their old rider shorts, Cloud shorts. I think this was from the start of last year from the Natural Wonder drop. And as you can see, the glute contour is much more drastic this time. It goes to a very exaggerated curved point and it's just not as high rise or tapered. So they added more fabric into this glute contour and made it more pronounced, um, which I do think is more flattering. And these are obviously longer. Both are size medium. These are the volley shorts. These are the rider shorts. And yeah, you can just really tell how much more drastic the glute seam is for these new ones. And this was just more of like a thick fabric. This one is more of like a silky soft. I don't know, it's it's hard to see up close, but this was like a very thick, almost cottony feel. These have like a very stretchy and silky feel to them. So that is the comparison between the old riders and the back of the volleys. And then I'll show you the front too because they do look different. So again, comparing side by side, they brought this front seam down a little bit more than they had it on the old shorts. And the old rider shorts have no taper. These obviously have a taper, but yeah, it's definitely different and comes down lower, which I do think is more flattering on the new shorts because it just covers more of like your lower stomach area. And yeah, so I do really like the fit of the new shorts and the gusset is also a little bit different. They had the little triangle here and this one has no gusset. It's just like a straight across um, and both obviously no front seam. But yeah, that's the up close differences. If I was comparing the new feel to any of the older cloud fabrics, it would have to be similar to the most recent launch of the Atmos stuff. Um, that's definitely the thinness and stretchiness of the fabric. Um, they definitely feel the most similar to those, but almost a little bit more brushed, whereas these felt like more nylon-y. These two feel super, super similar. Um, the old cloud, sorry the lighting's so weird. The old cloud riders are just more of a cottony thick feel. These feel most similar to any of the tie-dye cloud shorts. So hopefully that helps you guys in deciding whether or not you would like them or not. That is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this Vitality Cloud 2 fabric comparison and try on and review if you have any questions make sure to drop them down below make sure you are following me for more reviews on instagram erica x timmons i also have a review and unboxing tiktok channel erica x reviews and let me know what you guys think did you try cloud 2 are you excited to try the fabric let me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys in my next video